Hey YouTube, Gordon Miller here. Okay, so um, we're talking about mentors and uh, we've talked about my education mentors in uh, middle school and high school. We've talked about my mentors in uh, college and in graduate school. And we've talked about my mentors in education uh, when I was faculty at Virginia Tech uh, and how that whole process went and how the transition is. So we're up to about 1997. Uh, I made the transition. Uh, we're actually, we're up to about 96 before I actually made the transition. Uh, and um, we had done a bunch of stuff at the company in 95 and 96 where uh, we were building websites for companies and we had put out a package of things that um, we were doing uh, for businesses, for local businesses, there was a business grant that was available from the town of Blacksburg that uh, if they wanted to do a website uh, and the website was under a thousand bucks or under five hundred dollars, they would pay four hundred of the five hundred, leaving the business step to pay a hundred. So we had already created a list of like thirty five businesses. We went out and sold them all in one or two days, and then we did all the other work. So we made like sixteen thousand or so right off the bat. Uh, and um, that really helped kind of propel some of the stuff we were doing. Uh, but these, we got these little $100 checks in from these clients after this website went live, uh, we would bill the client and they would send us a check for a hundred bucks. And so um, the, the mentor that I wanna focus on now is in the government contracting space. Our, our very first government contract was um, as a sub to, uh, Technology Management Group (TMG) uh, and Milt Long was the was the president of uh, of uh, TMG at the time, and so um, Milt was interested in uh, finding somebody who had the necessary multimedia and training expertise to develop the courseware for the air defense engineer uh, for uh, the Naval Surface Warfare Center for the, cru the Navy's cruiser and destroyer for the Arleigh Burke class uh, cruisers. And so uh, this is the um, Aegis weapon system. Uh, this is the Tomahawk weapon system, uh, mostly used for defensive purposes on the piece that we did at least. Uh, they're looking at um, intercepting potential incoming aircraft uh, with uh, missile fire and, uh, and things like that. Uh, we've tried to make it a point not to um, you know, not to do offensive weapon systems. We did defensive weapon systems. And, you know, so the air defense engineer uh, is really there to uh, make sure that the ship stays intact and can repel all incoming attacks. And uh, I like that. So, you know, lobbing cruise missiles into, you know, civilian populations hoping for the best, not exactly my favorite strategy. So I, I tried to make sure we never worked on anything like that. Um, but this air defense engineer opportunity came along and we were taking, literally taking that $1, uh, that $100 check uh, into the bank to cash and or to put it in our account. And the offices for the corporate research center were um, in the same building as the bank. And in fact, the, the vault area for the bank was the same space. It was probably not much bigger than my office here at home. Uh, it was about 20 feet by you know 10 feet. And, um, but the, uh, no windows and at least I have a window in my office, but the, um, when we moved out of that space, the, the bank moved in and, uh, and used that for their vault. And so we're there, uh, in the building, uh, at the Garvin Innovation Center at Virginia Tech. And, um, um, so we were depositing the, the check and, uh, Joe Meredith saw me, he's the director of the Corporate Research Center, Joe Meredith, um, saw me pull up in my car out front uh and uh he you know flag you know he was tried to flag me down but i didn't see him and i went to go put the check in the bank and i had to walk back by his office and so he he, he run, you know runs out the door and grabs me by the arm and he goes hey he goes i got a guy in my office here that won't leave uh, he's looking for people that do work, contract work for the navy tell him there's nobody here that does that and get him a hell out of my office and so i was like okay so, you know, I entered, come in and introduce myself and, you know, uh, and uh, I got introduced to Milt Long. And so, uh, you know, Milt's like, well, you know, we're, 
we're on this contract. We're looking for the right kind of talent. And, you know, I understand that, you know, there's talent here in the multimedia area, but, you know, and so, you know, I was still, you know, working on the company as well as working at the university and said, yeah, well, you know, I'm the director of the multimedia lab. And also uh, I have my own company that we do consulting work and things like that. And I said, you know, hey, our offices are just right in the building next door. I said, uh, why don't we, you know, leave uh, Joe alone and, and we'll go next door and uh, we'll talk about it. Well, you know, that got him out of Joe's office, so he was happy. And uh, and then four hours later, uh, we had hammered out a deal for us to work on the project. And, uh, you know, it was a $50,000 project, which, you know, in retrospect was probably a fraction of, it probably should have cost five hundred thousand dollars or more, or five million dollars. Uh, but um, you know they had underbid something to get it, and then couldn't figure out how to deliver. And so um, you know they were looking for somebody to do it cheaply. Uh, and so okay, so fifty grand was not a lot of money, but it was a you know it was a government contract, and uh, we worked on it, and um, you know we we made it work, and. Uh, you know, we, at the final delivery, we had some difficulty um, with the the rights of what we had produced. Um, we had retained some of the rights and, um, you know, we had not been paid for some of the work we had done. And so, unfortunately, um, you know, it didn't uh, it didn't go well in the end. Uh, and it, it really kind of damaged my relationship with Milt uh, for a period of time. Eventually, we all got past it. I mean, TMG... Uh, still remembers our interactions fondly. And uh, even though that particular project didn't end well as we were, you know, I was young and stupid and I didn't know what I didn't know. And, um, you know, it, I, I, I should have made a different choice and I didn't, and I should have been more cooperative. I should have been more uh, understanding. And, and I, you know, I, I wasn't, I mean, I took a hard line and I was like, look, like either you pay us or we're not going to, deliver the final for you and uh, knowing full well that, you know, that would put them in a bad situation. Uh, we just assumed that they were holding out on us and that they, you know, there, there was more money. There wasn't more money. And so um, if I had known that I probably wouldn't have done it. You know, I mean, I didn't, it wasn't intended to be that kind of thing. So uh, I didn't mean to, you know, uh, to do that. And so it put a strain on my relationship with, with Milt, but, you know, decades later, uh, you know, we're beyond all that. And, and I love Milt to death. He retired here recently from TMG and other people are now running the company and, and things like that. But, um, you know, Milt Long is responsible for giving me my first, uh, contract opportunity and our, our Navy contract led to being recommended for the army contract, which led to other opportunities that, um, that followed after that with the state department and, uh, Homeland Security and all the other stuff. So, uh, and Health and Human Services and all the stuff that's on our G3.com website. But the, um, I appreciated all the effort that Milt went to, uh, to go out of his way to teach me the government contracting game. Uh, and it is a game. I mean, it's, there are rules, uh, and the rules get made up as you go along sometimes and the rules keep changing a lot. But, um, Milt had, uh, a lot of significant, uh, government contracting experience and I had none. And so, um, I learned along the way. And so Milt, thank you. I appreciate all of the, all of what you taught us. And, uh, you know, um, I still regret that, uh, air defense engineer course, uh, you know, catastrophe that, uh, you know, ended up coming between us briefly, but, uh, you know, I appreciate the fact that, uh, both companies went on to do, you know, great things. Uh, and uh, I will always regret not, um, you know, not getting a chance to do anything else directly with TMG, uh, you know, over the years. Uh, I think it would have been a, a great opportunity, but uh, lesson learned. And, uh, you know, I've never, even when I had to absorb the various losses or I had to do whatever, uh, I've never failed to deliver something uh, again, uh, you know, because of, you know, what was perceived as an inequity and in whatever the payment, you know, thing was. So we've always tried to go out of our way to do that. So Milt, I appreciate it. I love you to death. I hope you're doing well. I hope the farm is going well. I'll reach out and give you a call here shortly. Thanks.